Daniel Gomez here, the Dynamics GP Blogster. Today I want to talk about Azure DevOps procedures as it refers to Power Apps. I'm going to show you how to download the Power Apps build tools, get them installed in your Azure DevOps environment, and I'm going to also walk you through some of the documentation that exists today that will get you started in your DevOps journey. With that said, let's get started. First thing we want to do is we actually want to enable the Power Apps build tools. So we're going to click on the padlock here and select uh, Browse the Marketplace. Here we're just going to type Power Apps quickly. And this should actually now bring up the Power Apps build tools. Then we're going to select it and click on Get it free. Yes, it's a free tool that you can install in your environment and you should be able to um, make use of it immediately. The only one thing you got to select here now is the organization that you want to install it to and click the install button. You will see a processing sign. Once it's done, which is very quick, you can click proceed to organization. To verify that the extension is installed, we're going to go back to the Podlock tool and we're going to click Manage Extensions. You should immediately see the Power Apps build tools in the environment. You can get more information about it by clicking on it. Make sure that it's the latest build that's available to you. Now I'm going to show you some of the resources that are available. So currently you can go to the Power Apps um, documentation. Uh, specifically for the build tools and Azure DevOps and you can walk through the overview on tasks that are available to the uh, both the solution and environment. That will give you a general idea of the different options that you have available that are contained within the Power Apps build tools. You can then click on the tutorial and frequently asked questions and one of the things that is available to you is a hands-on lab that will take you straight to GitHub. This GitHub repository contains three PDF files, one for each module that will walk you through a successful implementation of a CDS solution and deployment into DevOps. By downloading the labs, you will have access to each one of the three PDF files. Uh, be sure to open module zero, which basically has some preliminary setup that you need to do in order to create your CDS environment along with a, um, an empty solution that will walk you through the implementation of the overall DevOps uh, settings. Module 1 implements the procedures for building your CDS application. You'll go step by step, uh, creating a model-driven application that you can use as a template or as a sample for generating your DevOps procedures. In turn, Module 2 finalizes and closes out the entire cycle with um, the steps that you need to implement in Azure DevOps to leverage the different build tools tasks um, in order to create a pipeline and that will allow you to deploy your apps in the different environments. So this should be fun. I would encourage you to go through the labs. In my next video, I'll probably go through each one of these things step by step, walking you through how to set it up, uh, showing you end to end how it works. And, um, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, we'll put in practice some of the things that you learn here. So talk to you soon and enjoy.